we begin with the solar system. Ascend to the stars, then reach for the galaxy, the universe, and beyond. The universe. It's bigger than you think. It's hotter than you think. It is denser than you think. It's more rarefied than you think. Everything you think about the universe is less exotic than it actually is. Let's get some numerical machinery together before we begin. Start with the number one. You've seen this number before. There are no zeros in it. If we wrote this in exponential notation, it is 10 to the zero power. The number one has no zeros to the right of that one, as indicated by the zero exponent. Moving onward, the number 10 can be written as 10 to the first power. Let's go to 1,000, 10 to the third power. What's the metric prefix for 1,000? Kilo, kilogram, 1,000 grams, kilometer, 1,000 meters. Let's go up another three zeros to a million, 10 to the sixth power, whose prefix is mega. Maybe this is the highest they had learned how to count at the time they invented the megaphone. Perhaps if they had known about a billion by appending three more zeros, giving 10 to the ninth power, they would have called them gigaphones. Do you know how big a billion is? What kinds of things come in billions? Currently, we are approaching 8 billion people in the world. How about Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon.com? What's his wealth up to more than $100 billion? Where have you seen $100 billion? Well, McDonald's, over $99 billion served. That's the biggest number you ever see in the street. McDonald's never displayed $100 billion because they allocated only two numerical slots for their burger count, and so they just stopped at $99 billion. After that, they pulled a Carl Sagan on us and now say, billions and billions served. Take 100 billion hamburgers and lay them end to end. Start at New York City and go west. Will you get to Chicago? Of course. Will you get to California? Yes. Find some way to float them. This calculation uses the diameter of the bun, four inches, so it's all about the bun. Now float them across the ocean along a great circle route, and you will cross the Pacific, pass Australia, the Indian Ocean, Africa, and across the Atlantic Ocean, finally arriving back in New York City. That's a lot of hamburgers. But you have some left over after you have circled Earth's circumference, so you will make the trip all over again. 215 more times. Afterward, you still have some left. You're bored circumnavigating Earth, so you stack what remains. How high do you go? You'll go to the moon and back with stacked hamburgers each two inches tall after you've already been around the world 216 times. Only then will you have used your 100 billion hamburgers. That's why cows are scared of McDonald's. By comparison, the Milky Way galaxy has about 300 billion stars. Perhaps McDonald's is gearing up for the cosmos. When you are 31 years, 7 months, 9 hours, 4 minutes, and 20 seconds old, you've lived your billionth second. I'm just geeky enough to have celebrated that moment in my life with a fast sip of champagne. Let's keep going. What's the next step up? A trillion, 10 to the 12th power. We have a metric prefix for that, Terra. You can't count to a trillion. If you counted one number every second, it would take you 1,000 times 31 years, 31,000 years, which is why we don't recommend doing this, even at home. A trillion seconds ago, cave dwellers, troglodytes, were drawing pictures on their living room walls. At New York City's Rose Center of Earth and Space, a spiral-wrapped timeline of the universe begins at the Big Bang and displays 13.8 billion years. Uncurled, it's the length of a football field. Every step you take spans 50 million years. You get to the end of the ramp and you ask, where are we? Where is the history of our human species? The entire period of time, from a trillion seconds ago to today, from graffiti-prone cave dwellers until now, occupies only the thickness of a single strand of human hair, which we have mounted at the end of that timeline. You think we live long lives? You think civilizations last a long time? No, not relative to the cosmos itself. <laughs>